wanted to take a little time to do a review on this little project I got here called the Digital Reference DRR11 Receiver. It's a wireless guitar <coughs> system. It's really cool. I got it a week or two ago. Um, it works awesome. I love it. Right out of the box, I was very pleased with it. It has a great tone. <laughs> clips onto your strap. This transmitter sends a signal to receiver which plugs into your amp. Um, it comes with the cord that plugs into your guitar. So all you need is your amp and you need a cable to plug into the back of the receiver. Um, I, this thing is really cool. Uh, it has a long battery life. lasts between 15 to 20 hours. So you can play it for quite a while. It just uses one 9 volt battery. Um, the receiver has a included power cord that you just plug into a normal output and uh, all you have to do is put the battery into the transmitter, switch it on and you're ready to go. So uh, let me demonstrate. <laughs> So let's look a little closer at it. This wireless guitar system consists of two parts. The transmitter, which is right here, and the receiver. This special cord that comes with it that plugs into the transmitter right here. And this is the antenna that transmits the signal. It has a nice sturdy clip on the back that clips onto your belt or your strap and um, it has three modes. It has off, an off switch, then standby, and then live um, or on. And this red light is the battery light so um, as you play for a while eventually it'll get dim to tell you that you need a new battery. Um, standby mode is just when before you're ready to play but before you do like if you're going live so that's kind of nice to have. And it has off. Um, as I said, the battery lasts between 15 to 20 hours. Just a 9 volt battery, as you can see right here. Um, and it has some settings to tweak if uh, they're necessary, but when mine I got it from the factory, the settings were all uh, by now they were, but um, there's a high and a low right here um, with a little screwdriver in there to change the amount of power it transmits out so if you're just playing around the home um, you can set it to low and the battery will last approximately 20 hours um, before it runs out but if you're playing like live and you're, you want more range you can set it to high and uh, you'll only get about 15 hours of battery life which is still a lot but you'll have a much larger, larger range I actually tried it, I had it on high uh, first day or two after I got it I open my window behind me. I turned up my amp a little ways. I walked out of the house, down the driveway, out into the street, and I was playing fine. This is the transmitter right here. Let's move on to the receiver. Alright, as you can see, this is the receiver. It's just a simple little box. It has two antennas. It has a signal antenna and a ground antenna. Um, signal antenna picks up the signal that comes from the transmitter. The ground antenna helps to cut out any interference. Um, or extra noise, which I think is nice. Um, let's take a little closer look at it. What we've got here is just a simple little box. It has a power indicator, which whenever it is plugged in, is on green. There's no on or off switch, so that's always on as long as you have it plugged in. Then it has an RF indicator, which is a yellow light when it's on. That just indicates that um, that it's getting a signal from the transmitter. There's also a peak indicator um, which has to do with the settings when you adjust the transmitter which allows you to uh, change them in case it's getting too much feedback or interference. Um, in the back of the box there's a quarter inch jack to plug uh, from the transmitter into your amplifier. There is the power plug and then there is a volume control here. What this does is it changes the 
volume that comes from the box and goes to amp. So usually you just leave it at high, um, but you can adjust it to adjust the tone of the sound you're getting if you want. Um, I found that this gives me a great tone uh, for what I like to play. And uh, this thing's really worth the money. So if you want to play, all you got to do is plug this in. Plug the power cord in, the green lights on, switch on your transmitter, and you're ready to play. Alright, so we've got everything set up. All we got to do is plug in this special cable. And this cable, uh, make sure it has a special locking mechanism so that if you're playing, it won't accidentally uh, clip on you. And then we just got to put our transmitter on. Just a normal sized plug for your quarter inch goes into the guitar and then you should be ready to play. I'll switch on the switch on the bottom of the transmitter and then this little yellow light comes on that shows that it's getting the signal. Turn on the volume to the amp. And as you can see it plays wonderfully. Um, as I said before, there's a knob that you can adjust on the back of the receiver for the volume. Right now it's at zero. Right now it's up all the way. Um, what I found is that it seems to give me a little more gain than um, than what I would have normally just playing with a cable. And so I just like to turn it down just slightly and uh, I get the same great tone that I get with my cable. You can play a lot of ACDC and Led Zeppelin with perfect tone. I would really suggest uh, you get it if you're looking for a wireless guitar system um, or any other type of wireless system. It works great. It's um, sort of an int introductory model, but uh, for my purposes and uh, even for smaller live shows, it works wonderfully. So, thank you for taking the time to watch this, and I hope I've helped with any questions you may have had. Uh, if you have any other questions about it, you can leave a comment or a video response. Thank you.